एसर लैच मीन्स सेट रिसेट लैच एंड लैचिंग मीन्स स्टोरिंग सम एलिमेंट हेयर इन द डिजिटल इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स विल स्टोर वन बीट ऑफ मेमोरी फर्स्ट विल सी द नॉर्गेट लैच वी नीड टू नॉर्गेट हेयर इट विल बी आर इट मीन्स रिसेट एंड इट इज सेट its output will be connected to the input of second nor gate and its output is connected to the one input of first nor gate it will be q q inverse if q is 0 then it should be 1 and if q is 1 then it should be 0 when set is 1 then we should get q equal to 1 r equal to 1 then our q should be 0 Q inverse equal to zero. Q inverse equal to one. The truth table of NOR gate is: if both the input is zero, then we'll get output one. And if any input is one, then we'll get output as zero. From these three, we can see that if any input is one, then our output will be zero. And if both the input is zero then we'll get output as 1 so we'll use this information to analyze this circuit here it is truth table of sr latch using nor gate we'll see four cases for the first case s equal to 1 that means here we have 1 if any input is 1 then the output will be zero so we'll get zero in this and the first case s equal to 1 and r equal to 0 so here we have zero in this and this zero will be connected to the second input of first nor gate when both the input is 0 0 then the output will be 1 so for the first case s equal to 1 and r equal to 0 we are getting q equal to 1 and q bar equal to 0 now this one is again connected to here and when both the input is 1 1 then our output will be 0 here according to this we are getting the output 0 so the output will be this 1 and 0 till we change our input so if we change our input then our output will change but as it is a latch circuit means it is storing a data so even if we remove the input then the output must be the same so for this we will remove the input it means removing the input means we are keeping it zero and r equal to zero so we'll see the third condition first is already verified now we'll see this previously it was zero so zero will go to here when both the input is zero then our output will be one so this one will be connected to here and if any input is one then our output will be zero and this zero again go to here Zero zero will get one, and this one will again connect it to here. If any input is one, then we'll get output zero. So from this, we can say that even if we have removed this input, then we are getting our previous data. So zero zero means it is previous state, or we can say the output as memory state. Now we'll see the second condition as r equal to one. any input is 1 it means we will get the output as 0 so now the data will change to 0 this 0 will come to here if both the input is 0 then we will get 1 as output this one will go to here both the input is 1 we will get 0 if r equal to 1 that means reset is equal to 1 then we'll get zero in the output or q equal to zero and q bar equal to 
Now we will see the fourth condition. When both the input is 1, as we know, if one input is 1, then we should get 0. So here it is 0 as s equal to 1 then here also we will get 0. But this is not possible because q and q bar is just opposite. So this is invalid. To get output for this condition we have to improve our circuit. So this is all about the NOR gate latch. Now we will see NAND gate latch. The circuit diagram is exactly same but we have small change in this. Previously in NOR gate we have reset in this and set in this but in NAND gate S in this and R in this and it will be Q and Q bar. The truth table of NAND gate if both the input is 0 our output will be 1, 0, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1 and if both the input is 1 then only we will get output as 0. Now we will see this condition if set is 1 and R equal to 0. Now from this truth table we can see that if both the input is 1 then we will get output as 0 and if any input is and if any input is 0, then we will get output as 1. As here it is 0, so we will get output as 1. This 1 will go to here. This both input is now 1. So we will have 0 in this. This 0 will go to here. 0, 0. We will have 1 in the output. This 1 will go to here. Then again we will get 0 in this and it will be doing same thing till we change our input. So from this we can say that when s equal to 1 then we will have q equal to 0. s equal to 1 q equal to 0 and q and r equal to 0 q bar equal to 1. When s equal to 0 and r equal to 1 then we will have if any input is 0 then we will have output as 1. This 1 will go to here. Now both the input is 1. Then we will have 0 in this in the output. Then this 0 will go to here. Then if any one input is 0 then we will have output as 1. So when s equal to 0 then q equal to 1. So s equal to 0 q equal to 1 and q bar equal to 0. So it is doing just opposite of non SRL edge. Now we will see the fourth condition that is 1 1 R equal to 1 S equal to 1. Previously we had 1 in this. So this one will be coming to here. So both input is 1. Then we will have 0 in the output. It is 0. Then it will go to here. Any input is 0 means we will have 1 in the output. So we are getting the output. So from this we can say that when both the input is 1 then for NAND gate it is the memory state. And when both the input is 0 1 input is 0 then we should have output as 1. So this should be 1 but this is not possible because q and q bar is just opposite so it is invalid so from this truth table we can say that the nor gate latch and nand gate latch are opposite with each other this is nor gate latch and this is nand gate latch in coming video i'll do the practical on this and also we'll discuss the flip-flops. So this is all for today. Thanks for watching.